Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome to the Vote TV Prime Time. This is the Raukana Vote TV breakfast show. Karibuni, karibuni, karibuni. And I'm your host, Nelson Mike. Murioki, let me change something here. It has to be like this. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Perfect. So again, welcome to the Vote TV primetime show. And this time around is the breakfast show. This is the Rauka Navo TV breakfast show. I'm your host, Nelson Mike Murioki. And uh, wherever you're watching from, remember that this show is live streaming on all five platforms that I own, which includes the Vote TV YouTube channel, the Nelson Mike Podcast YouTube channel, the KNL Facebook page, my private Facebook page, and also on Twitter at Vote Television. Uh, again, just let me know, drop a comment. This is a special edition that I'm covering right now. Nikesi Moja Ambayukona in a Huzunisha. Nikesi Moja Ambay na Huzunisha. And that's going to be my focus right now. The story of Damari Osita. That's going to be my topic today. Let me welcome Kim watching here on, on YouTube. Leangina. Shout out to my to Leangina also watching uh, on YouTube. Karibuni, 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 whatever you're watching it. Remember, all these, my show is broadcasting concurrently on five different platforms. Kwaivo, kama uko hapa Vote TV YouTube channel, kama uko hapa Nelson Mike, uh, the Nelson Mike Podcast YouTube channel, kama uko kwa KNL Facebook page, kama uko hapa kwa my private page, my private page, and also kama uko pale Twitter at Vote Television. I welcome you all. And I want us to focus on a, another yet Sad case. Watch and say maybe. Now to get as much as possible Kongia Lugia Taifa through this whole entire broadcast. Easy members of Saudi Arabia. And every single time when I think I've seen it all, something just pops up from nowhere. Kwa show ya jana last night to look maombi. And it's funny because every time I say we're going to have prayers, every time I say we're going to have three days of fasting or we're going to start a fasting spree, some stuff is revealed. Kuna vitu huwa zinaanza kutokelezea from left and right. And what, what, um, what, what caught me last night is something I never expected. And I've never seen anything of this nature. Kwaizi kesi zote za Saudi Arabia. Kwa namba walikuwa wameza kuwachu kuwa na post zangu za Facebook. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. And I'll give you a, a background of how all this started. Walamba munangi apa. Tafadali niambieni una watch ukiwa wapi. Una watch ukiwa wapi. Where are you watching from? Ukonchi gani? Ukoinchigani. I gotta do I gotta do a thing or two here. Ukoinchigani. Kariboni, kariboni. Welcome to the um, Rokanavo TV breakfast show. Kariboni, ni water. And uh, 
let me can I give you two more minutes because there's someone that I'm waiting uh, I'm waiting Akujengi up as a guest so let me give you time to just say hi Nikona Kim watching from Bahrain Leangina wherever you are thank you karibu 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 as we continue loading up na joni mapema so guys get a cup of coffee get a cup of tea and then i'm going to get into this story purity na kuona pale facebook watching all the way from qatar thank you karibu 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 and by the way wale ambao wale ambao wameingia hapa you like this you like this broadcast and then you share una like una share una like una share na my folks on my facebook private page inaonekana bado hawajazoea hawajazoea hii system hmm? watu wa mshada hawajazoea hii system they are used to my traditional live streaming system they are not used to this lakini tafundisha step by step ni story moja ni hii ni story ya ni story nyingine inahuzunisha yale ambao dada zetu wanapitia Saudi Arabia wacha niwaambie what is happening in this country every day i wake up every day there's something new every day there's something new na hata unaanza kushindwa until when when will this end ni wangapi wameona hii story kwa facebook page yangu so actually what i'm going to do is uh, let me do let me let me just do it like this uh, i'm going to do an introduction to the story okay so let's do an intro to the story as people continue to tune in who is damari osita and where is the family rokan about tv last evening vo tv received an alarming message about a kenyan lady who was stranded at dubai airport at first her identity was had not been revealed and then nimeonyesha hiyo hiyo image nitaonyesha hiyo image tena and this was posted by a lady called Jerry thank you Jerry because I, I, uh, i'm in touch with her now if at, i'm i'm waiting on Jerry to come here as a guest i'll give you some more details about that a second post appeared revealing the identity of the Kenyan lady the passport picture and the flight confirmation and at that point i found out that the name was Damario Sita born in 1983 and she comes from Higa County so there you go okay vo tv connected with uh, the Kenyan lady who posted the story online that is Jerry to get an exact picture of what transpired at the airport and how a flight passenger this sick was allowed to board a flight vo tv investigates tune in watch share and if you're new here subscribe to the channels so allow me to, to do the following uh let me now come here and uh let's go to my facebook page okay ndio muangalie vile hiki kitu ilianzia okay Yes. Uh give me a second. This is what I'm trying to do here. Let me let me let me tell her right away. And Jerry Nico Nico live. So just uh uh click your link. 
alafu utaingia then I'll, uh, I'll add you I'll, I'll uh, accept you in the studio so um while we're on a post yangu facebook so let's start from here you ilikuwa ni about 6 hours ago and uh this was the first picture so let me make this thing big here ndio muone vizuri by the way uh welcome we, we welcome 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 again welcome to vote tv prime time show and uh here we are again i'm dealing with uh I have a very ugly case uh so i'm sure you, you guys were sleeping and look at this this was the picture that jerry posted let me see if she's here okay me let me can i can i can i first of all say something wakati nilipona hii picha in fact me nilikuwa nafikiria ni mwanaume i thought this was a was a guy and that's why i did the graphic real real fast and say just received here at vote tv tafadhali soma post the post read guys kama unajua huyu mtu so the post didn't even send him sana ama ni kijana so me i thought automatically i thought automatically me then yangalia even nifikiria uni uni mwanaume kama unajua huyo mtu kindly call me on this number the number was the number is there ako dubai airport ametoka saudia akiwa very sick hana documents za huku so hawezi vuka his side but manzi ako sick anahara na ako and ako weak so are you seeing this so the moment i i put this post nilipo weka hii graphic as you can see here from the reaction people were get people were confused people were so confused like me i can tell you the first thing i thought was Elizabeth Wayongo welcome welcome hapa tuko Elizabeth tulikuwa maombi jana sasa angalia what we have now Mimi nilikuwa nafikiria huyu ni mwana huyu ni huyu ni mwanaume So this is what Jerry had posted in uh, kwa group ya Dubai a Facebook group in Dubai Guys kama unajua huyu huyu mtu so it's it said ilikuwa imesema mtu Kindly call me on this number ako dubai airport ametoka saudia akiwa very sick so me kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeanza kutagiwa so me what i did is i i just made this graphic real fast na nika post lakini nilikuwa na maswali mingi sana nikaanza kujiuliza maswali mingi sana nikaanza kujiuliza how comes huyu mtu akiwa hivi unaona kuna na bandage imkono iko na bandage look it's a very bad picture nywele ana so again i re i repeat the first picture i received nilikuwa nafikiria huyu ni huyu mwanaume and by the way regardless of where you're watching from if you if you if you're here if you're watching this the uh the uh this prime time show make sure we share because we are here we are here on a mission for one thing and for one thing only we are here tunatafuta familia ya huyu mwanamke but anyway so that was the first post and then nikaanza ku i'm still asking myself a gazillion questions and then shortly thereafter this popped up So Nigeria can make the second post. Meanwhile, 
I was having some people are texting me. I'm having inboxes. I'm getting phone calls. And now, Nikaeza Kupata now a clearer picture. A boarding pass yake, which shows Air Arabia. Uh, yo, copy your passport, Apple. And so I was able to see that the victim, Anaitwa Damari Osita. Again, I repeat. The victim is called Damari Osita. And now the second update amba wasa sanjeri alweza kuweka ni kwamba. Guys, I need, I need your urgent help. Get me anyone who knows this lady. She has been taken to ICU in a very critical condition in Sharjah. Details I will update, but for now, please, please, get me anyone who knows, who knows her or a family member. Please, please. So palikuwa na maswali kama a thousand questions. Like ini, now I will start getting into the oh let me actually welcome. I think Jerry is here. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. God is great. Let me first of all come here. Uh, I'll make this uh, I'll make this baby. Uh, let's come here, Kwanza. Let's first of all welcome uh, the good Samaritan, the Kenyan good Samaritan all the way from Dubai. Jerry, well, Jerry, welcome to Vote TV Karibu. Thank you so much. Njeri, what you want to Mimi, the past few hours since I saw this image. I'm born to shout to Tana. And actually, what I want to do, Njeri, uh, uh, Kwanza ji introduce Nambia to Padu Lipo, because, and then I'll, I'll, I'll have to change this image right now. Go ahead. Hi, guys. Tinangu, my name is Jerry. Uh, I work in Sharjah Airport, Kwenye Uyudema Lifika. And uh, really, <laughs> today I was traumatized, very traumatized as such that. Nakubuka to your picture how she was, uh, because she was about, Usha yona mtu ako karibu kukufia kwa mikono yako. It was that oh serious. For sure. Really, may God help her. Njeri, Njeri, watch on the First of all, let me actually let's go back to the first picture. Okay. Let's first of all go to the first picture. In your picture, Kwanza Ambauli post. Okay. Tuangale picture to Kyapa Moja. Again, guys, Ambao, if you're here, this is what I want you to do. There are, there are two things because remember, this broadcast is, uh, is, you see, people are still inboxing me here. I'm actually getting more people inboxing me all the way from uh, different countries. But let's have a look at this picture, Kwanza. Tuanzi Apa and Jerry. Wakatu li post hii picha, mimi watu wale anza kunitag, let me tell you what I thought. Nilifikiria this, kwa sabu likuwa meandika kuyu mtu. So me I thought this was, mimi likuwa nafikiria unu mwanaume. So Njeri, can you walk us, can you walk the viewers? Mbia what's going on here? The thing is, the thing is, this lady came at the airport. I guess uh, how she came at the airport is still not clear. But what I'm guessing, in my own way, I can't say, you know, I work there, so I cannot give uh, unconfirmed information. So in my thought, what I think, they came from, uh, from Saudi with someone. Because when you come to check-in desk, the first thing we ask for is free to fly certificate when we see you are not fit. And again, if we see you are in such a condition, we will not give you boarding pass if you are alone. So that means there was someone, it could be boss, it could be anyone, there was someone who stood and said, I will accompany this person to get there. I'm not yet confirmed with this, but uh, it was to be confirmed in the morning. Once I go back in the evening, I will get a full detail. So that's okay, when she let's came. Gashari, Gashari, let's walk these things step by step. I want, I, I want, I'll show you how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, walk us through Villa Lingia Airport. Now, if what, and, and I'm actually going to, I'm going to challenge you to talk here as much Swahili as possible because uh, almost I'm talking about Viga County, and just for the for the sake of what uh, we try to run the broadcast as much as possible in our um, um, uh, national language. Kwaivo, mm -hmm. let me let me come here. Let, let people. Mm -hmm. let, I want people to see. I want us. Ebu tuwe ebu 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 apa ilikuwa ni wapi na nini ilikuwa inendelea apa? So hapo ni fanya alifika airport alianza ku scream because ya pain na hiyo time ya ku scream she messed herself up like a RG. she peed on herself akakuwa ako very messy so what what airport did he uh, we them are a lot uh, security security ka come lakini like when security will come and because the airport is full of so many people they had to look for somewhere yeah. to put the lady so wali muweka kwa hotel this is a hotel okay wali muweka in a very okay, big so, bed uh, so so this so so this right here hapa ni kwa hotel hotel Ali, yeah alikuwa kwa kitada okay. in the beginning lakini juu ya pain anajigeusha wow. mpaka anaabuka kwa floor si venye aliabuka oh, kwa floor yes. Mm, 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 mm. Flow, and then uh, you can imagine I'm a mess and then uh, once you lock it in the floor where you are making it everywhere like unajipaka everywhere so the cleaner so, had to go Jerry, Jerry uh, actually for the viewers and viewers when Jerry, when Jerry talks about ali kujimes anamaanisha kwamba watu wanaongea respectively kwa lugha kwa lugha kwa lugha kwa lugha ya taifa alikuwa ame alikuwa amejikojolea ame, ame na pia alikuwa amejiendea ame, ame cho just put it like that yes, yes. So, i want for all the viewers for you to have an idea what was happening here so every time jerry says kujimes that's what she means yeah okay and then jerry so apple now our cleaner when you are here so our corner is the good they had to remove uh, the clothes and throw them away and uh, wash this lady but because she is uh, kind of in pain she would not even allow them to catch her so she is uh, she is more energetic than her, than them so it be do wash her akiwa kwa floor so apa alikuwa na wash akiwa kwa floor these were the pictures who uh, you, you took that picture yeah, I took the picture and uh, I didn't took the full. I just uh, took that side because it yeah. was so pathetic. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. it was yeah. so painful to see this by the way. Ata kui piga it was too painful. And then Yeah, kwa sababu nilipoona nilipoona hapo um nilijua there was a reason um you did not take the full picture. It's because yeah. you are trying as much as possible to feature at our work here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then Jerry. So, so from there, uh, everything was cleansed, but nae aka e breathe yake kaisha. Aka kuwa sasa ame kuwa ile mgojo wakabisa sasa kuliko vinyari dia hapo. And so, what happened? Wari mweka go uriona picha pili ni liweka sasa akiwa na go. Okay, so, so uh, it... can I move? Can I can I move to the second picture? Okay. Okay, so this was. So let's go here. Okay, Tundele. Yes. So this is, is the second it... picture. That's... Yeah, is it good? I don't know. I just want to check in luggage. So we traced the check in luggage to offload the bag to get to Amago. Dio to get to the Mvarisha because this was again a trip to Papa. Then hapa yeah, so hapa ni kwa mm -hmm. first aid ni Shaja Medical Hospital first aid. Dio wali edwa mm -hmm. like uh, oxygen yake ukiangalia unaona amekuwa oxygen. Yeah. Wakiangalia oxygen level yake ilikuwa alikuwa walikuwa nasema akitolewa within 5 minutes atakuwa alive. According to those that so when we were here oxygen we can quit a ambulance and police were there and uh wakaita ambulance sasa akiwa akiwa hapo hapo walikujiwa na akabebwa pia na hizo oxygen akaikuwa kwa ambulance 
until to Kasim Hospital, where she is now in high intensive care. Wow. Uh, Njeri Ebu Tupati, again, let's identify the names of the victim. The name of the victim is Damari Otisa, or let me see, from the Osita. passport. Yeah, I got it here. Damari Oti Osita. Yeah, that is her name Osita. according to the passport. Sikwa yeah. Galia, passport Sikwa na visa, maybe by the time I will go in the evening, I will check whether she had a visa for, for Saudi or not, but I don't think so. Because the passport, as you can check, near 2021 to 2022. So yes. the visa can be in an old passport if she went a long time ago. But uh, that one I cannot confirm. Once I go in the evening, I will check it out and I will give you the information if she had visa for. And only then we can know the boss. Otherwise, because for instance, let's, let's say Ali Kujana boss, yeah. And they had a different ticket. If they had a different ticket, we can check from PNL. I know this one only came alone because only the passenger we will be able to check to check out. If they book the same ticket, they will only have the same PNL. And if they have same PNL, then we can trace the boss and we can get hold of the boss. Okay. Uh, alternatively, if we don't, if yeah. they didn't book same PNR, we can only now work with the yeah, the embassy of Saudi, Kenyan embassy of Saudi, to tell us if this uh, passport had had visa, if has visa, then check who is the owner of the visa to get who was the boss to this lady. Let's try to break this thing. This thing in our um. Um, using our own knowledge mm -hmm. and also as we proceed. And Jerry, uh, mm -hmm. let's come back here. I want to go back. I want to go back to the picture. Nikangale mm picha ya osi ya damari. Number one, the, the first thing I, okay, Nyuele, uh, did they have to cut her hair? Ama Nyuele likuate, even if alingia ya pota kiuwa na kaa hivi? Alikuja hivo, akiwa hivo. Okay, now can you please describe? Because I'm seeing a lot of red flags. Kwa i kwa ni kiangalia ngozi yake. Ukiangalia uku. There are stains all over. Uh, tell us your impression. What's going on yeah. here? That's what the first impression that came, you know, when she came to the airport and now we had to take, when, whenever they come to the airport, we take the passport and the boarding pass so that we can connect them to the, to the other flight. And as you can see in this boarding pass, it is clearly written, this passenger need fee to fly certificates, okay? This one was yeah. written by an agent from Sharjah who received this yeah. passenger. So whoever received it from Saudi, that one we don't know. But for this one, this is for Sharjah specifically for the agent who received her in Sharjah. Okay, so actually, okay, so to Fanyaibi Basi. Wewe uliitwa, kwa mbio kuna mkenya. Kwa hivyo wali kuita as a good Samaritan, kuja hapa kuna mkenya hako hapa. Right? Yeah, yeah. Swali la, uh, nikona swali moja. Alikuwa, mm -hmm. kuna kitu wali, al, kuna kitu wali yonge ama kuna kitu wali sema. Ama al, alikuwa yeah, tuwa na skim. Yeah, by that time, she was shouting because of pain. And then because she was shouting and speaking in Swahili, they also couldn't understand. And they were trying, you know, in the beginning, they thought this person is uh, someone who's interfering with security. So wakitana in the first place waliko wanataka to come for security reasons. Like is someone who is uh, crazy or something. That's what they thought. Because such cases happen. So they only wanted someone to calm her down. Because when they called me, they told me, there is one Kenyan upstairs. I was in the counter by then. So they called me and they told me, kindly leave the counter and come upstairs. There is one passenger who needs you to calm her down. 
question mm -hmm. kuna kitu kuna kitu kuna kitu alisema ambacho kilikupatia any kilikupatia any clue for example alisema nimekuja na mtu fulani nimetupwa mm. hapa na mtu fulani kuna kitu kuna kitu aliweza kusema kama hiyo by the time i was getting to her alikuwa ashachoka mm -hmm. ashachoka na energy imeisha and that's why because when they called police they, that police and uh, it's very kind police and uh, really i have never met because when they called that police as a security reason he told them this is not a police case it's a medical case and breaking once... news right here wait a minute breaking news right here on vote tv uh ni kuna kuna message imeingia ya kwamba huyu uh, nimepata information on whatsapp group ya waluya in uae we are trying to locate her family in vihiga county thank you very much uh, let me give you some background information as well uh, a bunch of people have reached out uh, uh, even for example like my sister cyprine she was the first one to reach out ako uh, ako pandwa western she has uh, her own channel uh, reaching out and saying we are sharing this thing if you look at that post this one right here let me go back this post has been shared now uh 20 there are 27 shares of, of this post na kama ulivyosikia uh imeanza kusakulitiwa kwa kwa even whatsapp groups and all that stuff thank you very much thank you very much nataka njeri nimesema ya kwamba by the end of this broadcast tutakuwa na familia now in case ukishapata familia if anyone mtu akishapata hii familia na nimesema hivi leo am try to keep this broadcast as much as i can in the swahili language so that everyone can understand and these folks can know exactly what's happening here kwa hivyo namba ya whatsapp iko kwa screen nyinyi wasike please share your number plus 5713631304 also namba ya njeri njeri abu hapa kuna namba yako iko hapa i let me read this number namba ya njeri ndio iko hapa ni plus 9715880500 7647 That's your number right? Yes. Ndio familia wa please mu get in touch na Njeri directly pia uh, aweze kwa sababu ako Dubai na yeye ndio ameshughulikia ameweza kuwa akifuatilia mambo pale on the ground. Okay, let's go back again here. Mm -hmm. Njeri kuna maswali mingi. Mm -hmm. Let's look at one thing I saw was the 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 right hand is on a bandage yeah is 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 that how she arrived with that bandage ama yeye aliyekuwa aliyekuwa alipokuwa kwa room ari kuja hivyo and not only that bandage kwa miguu kumeja vidoda and kwa mikono pia kuna vidoda is a kind of to me she looked kind of a tormented person because even one thing you know Our oh, doctor I don't want to talk this one in Swahili aliniita kaniambia ai huyu wewe ni mkenya aliniuliza kwa english wewe ni mkenya eh nitaka kuambia huyu huyu hata mimi hata tukimtoa hii oxygen saa hii atapass guy 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 so it was very 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 it wasn't easy Ade kuna statement ambayo nimeona umeweka kwa uh, kwa group ya uh, the kids in dubai the, the, the last the last statement ambayo umeweka ebu 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 ambia kwa tazamaji uh, vile umesema the, the way ule police ambao alikuja kakuuliza the, the cop that you spoke to can you can you tell the, the viewers exactly what they said yeah this police they are the one who accompanied because i was on duty so i couldn't leave my duty to go with them they are the one who accompanied their bilans and went with her to the hospital so when you walifika hospital what the doctor told them is that um, wamefika very late and uh, the only thing they can do for this for this lady only god can help for doctor they said this one only players if you can play only players can for us we cannot oh when God. the police came to me i was in the car and then i saw him i just jumped and i asked hey how did it go and then he looked at me and he told me doctor say you only players and then he told me it was really odd because he looked at me and said can you play for her 
Uh, it was wow, kind of wow, 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 wow. Well, no problem, I will pray for her. And that's why I'm requesting people, if the doctor said only players can work, that doesn't mean that person will die. That means there is that's power right. beyond, 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 uh, beyond doctors. Right. They know. So that's if your right. player, your little player can heal, then use it. If the yeah. doctor confessed with your mouth, the only player can, then your player will. And uh, family member more importantly needed, for sure. Kuna comment wacha nisema hii comment ya Felista ambayo inasema that means huyo msichana alikuwa msik akiletwa na because hawataki akufia kwa kwao they dumped her at the airport this is said uh, there was one question ambayo pia nilikuuliza mimi wakati nilipoona hii picha let me actually go back here nilipoona hii picha that, let me go back to the first picture that I, that, that I saw nilianza kujiuliza how did she make it through the check in in Saudi Arabia Ebu Tueleze, you working at the airport. Elezea, elezea watazamaji ambao wako hapa. Um, the, 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 only, the only way, the only mm -hmm. way possible mm -hmm. damari kupitia, mm -hmm. kupitia kwa, uh, kwa check, kwa check, kwa check in ya Saudi Arabia. Akiwa hivi. Okay. Let me say, according to the rules of the airport, uh, airport, as long as you have a fit to fly certificate from doctor, then it comes out yeah. from us. And if you have fit to fly from the doctor, we we only obey the command of this doctor. And if he yeah. say you are fit to fly, I and you have a component, you have someone who is accompanying you, no matter how you look, and doctor said you are fit to fly, I don't have any obligation to say no. Because in case any passenger die in a flight and has fit to fly, the airline doesn't take responsibility. The doctor who wrote fit to fly take the responsibility. You get it? That's so right. what, I'm, what I'm thinking is maybe they had fit to fly or with someone. And once they had fit to fly, you come to check in counter. I see you can travel. You have someone and you have fit to fly. Then I will check you in and allow you until the gate you will go. You have fit to fly. You have a company. They will allow you to go. Now after the gate, you after the gate, now when they arrive in Sharjah, no one knows this came with who. That moment, that passenger can, that person can come either exit from Dubai or else is also is someone going to Nairobi, but will pretend this lady now cannot recognize anyone, cannot say anything. So we'll just keep quiet and pretend I, I was not with her and the boarding pass is not written who came with who. So that could be the case. There's another, there's, a, there's another red flag for me in the thinking, the way I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. The flight from the flight from Saudi to Dubai. Mm -hmm. How many hours are how many hours are those? Two hours. Two hours. Mm -hmm. Let's start walking this thing step by step. Jerry, I'm telling you, I've solved crimes. I've, I've solved rape cases. I've solved murders here. When did she start peeing on herself? Nakujiandea cho. Well, uh, for me, I found her in that state because when, uh, you know, there is a arrival, there is air side and there is lad side in the airport. Eh? I was in yeah. lad side area and she was in the air side area. So for me, I only went there. They only called me when they saw the scenario has become difficult for them. Okay, so... And how is this started? Good. They only told me that girl just go, go that girl is uh, really in mess. You just go and see. Uh, I didn't know what to see. I thought, you know, I'm used to getting people, you know, some people they go to Saudi and they come like they are made, they are crazy. I'm used to That's being right. given such people. I deal with such people and they come from Saudi and I cool them down. 
So they are used in giving me such. So when I went, I didn't okay. expect such scenario. I expected someone who is shouting because maybe so many things are depressed and anything. I'll just talk to her and calm her down and make her get to the next flight. That's what I do. And that is what I expected. But when I went, I found someone on the floor. The way she is, that's how I found. But which means, what I'm saying is this. There's something I want to, there's something. I've been thinking about this case the, couple, the, last, the last few hours. Mm -hmm. she, didn't mess, she didn't mess herself while inside the plane. No. Did they say that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for Viloma Confirm Evo. It was when she came back. What I'm thinking is that the lady was tormented, completely tormented, wherever she was, and really Saudi government, we really need to work on that. My phone is Simuangu in Alia. There are so many phones. I'm getting phone calls. Ah, uh, okay. So you get my point? And the viewers, because mm. some of the viewers are here, and to cooperate and step by step. How could you call a cure kwa ndege? Na how could you end a chore a cure kwa ndege? It happened. Now, this, this is what I think on top of everything. Na tafadhali ningetaka ukianza kuongea kwa sabu makarao watakuita na watakupatia more updates. Kuna possibility, kuna possibility, kuna kitu uh, Damari ali consume, ali patiwa mm -hmm. aga consume either through breathing or whatever, mm -hmm. which now made, because which made things, which accelerated her health condition to be worse. That's Umesema alikuwa aliyaza ali pako shindo kupumua. Mm -hmm. Nukweli? Mm. That one, Nukweli. that one possible that was not possible because according to her condition when you look at her it was mm -hmm. not like uh, something happened urgently it is something has been there like it is someone who was completely sick even before when you look at her look yes. at her yeah, body. Yeah. oh yeah 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 Mambo za mateso na and by the way fanya hivi tafadhali kwa sababu unajua I, I kuna watu wengi sana watakuja hapa watu wa huko western watu kutoka different parts okay hivyo nataka njeri hata ukiongea do me a favor unaweza 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 ongea Kiswahili uh, let we try to we try, we try to we try to keep this broadcast as much as we can in the in, in the national language so that at least we can have all these folks understanding kama maybe kuna familia kuna watu wa Viga county wa from kutoka village yake uh, where where anatoka so Ukiangalia unaona kwamba hata ni kweli pale alikuwa alikuwa anapitia changamoto. Hebu repeat na mambo za bidonda ambazo alikuwa anasema. Ya yeah, ukiangalia okay, nywele yake nywele imekatika, ukiangalia mwili kila pahali kunaonekana. Mimi nilikuwa tunataka tu aweze tu kuongea niambie kuna kitu yes. happen before ni toke but hakuweza kuongea nilijaribu but nikaona the more hata najaribu anafaa hata kuwa ada medical care cause alifika pahali mpaka bleed cause ya venye alikuwa ame shout okay okay so yeah. let's nataka nataka tukae tu hapo mimi nakwambia mimi personally naangalia those two hizo two factors mm -hmm. mambo za kushindwa ku breathe mm -hmm kujikojolea na kujiendea cho. Okay? So, and I want you to follow me here. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, and in my theory. Mm -hmm. 
Yes alikuwa anapitia. Ni kama mimi na feel ni kama yule ambaye alimleta Dubai. <laughs> alikuja kumdump na maisha yake. Ni kama you, ni kama unadump mtu akiwa last stage. Nani wanaelewa hapa? The viewers are actually saying the same thing. Mm-hmm. And let's let's come back here. Mm-hmm. Na in fact wacha tuangalie hii uh, hii picha nyingine kwa sababu hii ndio after kuoshwa. Mm-hmm. Hebu angalia. Ni ambao mko hapa mna mna watch hii kitu. Hata ukiangalia picha yake ya passport vile inakaa na ukiangalia hii picha ya Njeri hata huwezi mm. kusema ni the same person. Yeah. True. Sasa hapa kuna maswali mingi sana. Number one. Mm-hmm. First of all again, wale ambao wako hapa tafadhali. Tunataka kujua familia ya Damari Osita wako wapi? Alizaliwa kuli, um wacha niangalie tena just to make sure hii information iko iko accurate hapa. Give me a second mm-hmm. Jerry. Nipatie one second. Okay. Okay. Alizaliwa the 25th of September 1983 mm-hmm. even if a passport inasema Yeah Passport yake mm-hmm. sasa, sasa hapa ndipo na, nataka tuangalie passport yake ali, ili prosesiwa mm-hmm. on the 20th on the 24th of June last year So ni kumaanisha kwamba alisafiri last year. Yeah. Around June ama July. Mm-hmm. Next question. Mhm. Tuko hapa tukitafuta familia yake lakini pia niko na maswali na tuna maswali. Mm-hmm. Ni agent gani ni ofisi gani lipeleka Damari Osita Saudi Arabia. Sayo. Tunahitaji tunahitaji kujua. True. Ni agent ni agent mgani alipeleka Damari Osita Saudi Arabia. Kwa sababu ukiangalia mm-hmm. vile anakaa kwa passport picha yake again na ukimwangalia hapa and these are two different people. Njeri ebu, is there any explanation vile nywele yake inakaa? Hii ni kama alikuwa ina, inangoka ama alikuwa anakatwa na mtu ebu tueleze. Nywele inakaa. Yaani tumi alikuwa anakaa tu mtu wako tormented kabisa kwa sababu ukiangalia hata nywele si eti imekatika ina, ya kunyolewa unapata kuingine iko ni kubwa kiasi kwingine ni lefu kiasi kwingine hakuna kabisa as in kama hata kama ni kutolikungolewa alno labda kuna disease inaweza toa hivyo labda kuna ugojwa inaweza fanya nywele ikuwe hivyo i'm not sure but ilikuwa inakaa si mtu alikuwa wela si mtu alikuwa pahali pazuri yani ndio alikuwa pahali pabaya kabisa nje nje uh, kuna kuna, kuna ya yeah, endelea and i believe huyu uh, ni mwenye tu ameweza kupatikana kuna wengi wanateseka kuliko hata yeye oh my goodness njeri kuna kitu kingine pia ninaona hapa ifa sasa naangalia hii picha vile naangalia hii picha hii picha vizuri um hizi <laughs> ni vidonda zimejaa kwa kichwa zimekauka hizo ni zimepona ukiangalia hizo zinakaa kulikuwa nazo lakini zimepona Oh Jesus Christ. Ah uh, Umepost umepost nini? Umepost picha ya picha ya passport pekee kwa group. 
Iya. Kwa sasa mimi picha zenye ningepata ni zenye nilimpiga siga pata access haku hata na simu fenye watu wanasema mimi sikumuona na simu kwa sababu niliada hata nikachukua bag yake hakuna kitu ilikuwa tuliangalia hata bag yake kitu yenye ilikuwa tu ni maguo nothing else alikuwa na suitcase no kabag kabag alikuwa na kabag ka kamela luka actually bag hii ya mgogo imelaluka alafu ilikuwa imewekwa kwa carton sasa juu iliwekwa kwa luggage luggage ni yenye una checking huwa una checking unaipetia na and it was 8 kg 8 uh, 8 means 808 ilikuwa 8 kg na ilikuwa imewekwa kwa luggage so what turienda tukalalua hiyo carton ndio tuweze kutoa hizo mango kutoa sasa tukatoa hiyo bag imelaluka tili kwa bag imelaluka ilikuwa na some nguo na nguo mobs ilikuwa chafu hata Cause I remember huyo polisi alikuja akaniambia enda kwa hiyo hoteli peleka hizi guo na uwabie pesa zote zenye zitatumika kwa huyu msichana nitalipa kwa hiyo hoteli he was very kind but msichana hangeka kwa hiyo hotel cause condition yake ile deteriorated wala ambao wakaapa tafadhali 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 wala ambao mko hapa nimesema by the time he broadcast isha tutakuwa na familia yake damari damari sita this is sad Kwa hivyo amekaa tu Saudi mwaka mmoja. Huyu mwanamke, huyu mwanamke yale mateso amepitia Jehova. Yale amepitia. Ya. Yeah. Aki Mungu shuka. And Jerry as we are here. Mm -hmm. Tuko na the new Cabinet Secretary of Ministry of Foreign Affairs Dr. Alfred Mutua. Mm -hmm. Anakuja Saudia. Actually I'm going to give some breaking news. I understand I've got Saudia. Amefika Saudia. Okay. Njeri ni yapi ngataka kusema? kuhusu yale ambayo umejionea leo. Let me see one thing. I guess yes hana mambo mingi sana ya kufanya kwa sababu what I understand by yeye yeah, akienda yeah, huko anaenda kutengeneza economy you know. Anaenda kutengeneza economy yake na ya Kenya. Wale watu wanaweza achagia pakubwa ni wale wenye wanaishi huko. Unaona kama huyo abasida kama anaweza toa na, naona kama huku Dubai kuna kuaga na hii lul like uh, kila mtu kama ni Philippines wanakuja na embassy yao wanasema these are the, our laws we want to make with our mates who will come here hivi ndivyo unafaa kuwalipa na hivi ndivyo unafaa kuwa treat sio until your yes. time abasida ashikane na hao watu aseme we want to protect the welfare of our people hata waseme cs ni nani hata waseme president ni anakuja president hana neno anakuja kusema anakuja tu president hata mtaweza kumwambia hiyo hiyo mashida yenye mko nayo atakuja tu hapo amekuja hapa kutengeneza economy yet people are dying na wetu wenye wana wanaojua vizuri sana ni hao mapiero hao mapiero wa wa abunini due embassy i mean uh, kenya embassy in that particular country until we start from home we start from there and they say we want to start with our people when they come there with agent you give agent rules you tell them agent is up to this and this how watoto watakuwa wanafanya kazi toka this hour and this hour and they have free time at this particular time cuz hiyo mtu kama ako na free time na ako na his of bili ataweza kukuja kusema mashida zake na mtaweza kumsaidia before ikuwe too late. Imagine huyu msichana anakaa kwa nyumba hajaitumia simu, haf, hafanyagi kitu. 
alijanganywa simu zote hakuna mtu anaweza patana na yeye aoge by the time mtapatana na huyo mtu nina time ameteseka ameteseka amemalizika na hakuna kitu mnaweza fanya till the this empathy start working only then fears will not do anything he will not help anything the wow. either see the either wasimame wote na hao wako Saudi kupatikane watu wenye wanawake nje si wenye wanawake kwa nyumba cuz je watashidwa tarudi wapi wale watu wanawake nje kama wale wanawake kwa makampuni washikane waende kwa hiyo embassy waseme the enough is enough dio hao waamke ama wachejiwe that's the thing otherwise we will keep on losing innocent people because they have no one no one to protect them after all they know they are gonna jua nikichukua msichana ni muue hata niende ni mdamu hakuna mtu anajua ni mimi niko naye this is the na hapa tuko na kesi ya damari hatujui kesi yake hatujui yake ni nani to come and bless ige kuwa na lols Imagine huyo agekuwa yeah. hiyo embassy hata wakose huyo boss wagepigia tu embassy wamwambie hapa kuna mkenya fulani fulani na anakaa hivi the same way we do in shaja if we find a we find a difficulty for anyone who is a UAE resident we normally call embassy and we tell them this and this and because there is peer row in them he is allowed to come even air side anakuja na kama ni huyo mtu anamuondoa kwa hiyo nini yako but saudi need to wake up for sure that kama ni hiyo um, kenya kenya you ever see there inafaa kutolewa itegenezwe wengine that's only njeri you are uh, you working you working at the airport in dubai um, have you ever seen anything like this before Well for sickness like this no because yeah, I wonder how you will get to the airport in that it's not it makes sense how you will get to the airport like this but I've seen cases where people comes and they get crazy and how they got crazy is because umtu um, amekuwa tormented and uh, are depressed we always know how to handle hizo cases tumezipata but ya mtu amekuja amekuja karibu akufia huko no because how did you enter the airport how did the airport really see you that's the question and now i'm looking at it i'm um, nangalia kitu from an investigating uh, investigative perspective airport coco na cameras um we can you know you can backtrack you can see we can go from where kwandege any play any point at the airport kuna kana pa kuna cctvs and actually it can take us all the way back to um uh, airport ya saudi it can take us all the way all the way back uh uh the people who are serv- serving in that in that in that plane sikulikuwa na hostesses na ambao walikuwa kwa hiyo ndege uh lakini jameni this is too much one thing i can say about hostess hostess they don't have any say uh, up to this because for them wanaleta wago watu wamechekiwa ni wameni wame profiliwa ukaona mtu wako sawa wewe ni kuleta tu na hiyo kitu ya kuangalia what happened from uh, Saudi airport can only happen if our our Kenya embassy is powerful which is dead let's me see the Kenya embassy in Saudi is completely dead it cannot have even people there you know see if here in Dubai we can start we don't fear anything we can stop and say we demand to know this but there who will start there and say we I... want to know everyone is afraid of everything No one. if that your Kenya Kenya embassy in uh, Saudi is powerful can happen but if sl- asleep it cannot because they have to command the airport to do 
that are investigation and they have to go with the uh, if they command and they they go with their light definitely the airport have no option than to tell them exactly what happened and if the doctor did if the, there was any um, fit to fly certificate then the doctor who wrote has to be uh, accountable of this jesus uh, what, you know, uh, let me let, let me let me put this image this image right here me and i'm going to keep on saying this again um wakati nilipona hii picha njeri nilikuwa nafikiria huyu ni mwanaume now to the viewers again ukiangalia sad vile njeri ame describe uh, damari ukiangalia ni kweli mimi naona huko sasa kwa kichwa hizi zote ni vidonda easy ni alama za vidonda kwa kichwa what the hell is this um then jerry i'll come back again let's keep looking at that picture um vile umesema she was screaming of pain mm -hmm. she was not screaming of pain akiwa kwa ndege the one i cannot tell and that's why i'm see, i'm see, usually there's what there's something we call they use um it's something that's very very famous they call them uh, they use a, a substance it's a chemical substance called a, a foreign agent substance mm -hmm. i don't know i don't know whether i don't know whether you guys have ever heard that term but in tawanta it's a foreign it's a foreign agent substance that can be unaweza ukawekewa u brief in unaweza ukawekewa you can you know someone can just hold it kwa mapua you breathe in you inhale it or even can just hold it ivi soon as you inhale it ikiingia kwa system ikiingia kwa mwili yako inaanza ku it just starts draining you cuz the fact the fact ya kwamba alianza kujiendea cho mm -hmm. alianza kujikojolea alianza kujiendea cho and when i'm talking kujiendea cho i'm talking about number 2 mm -hmm. kuna kitu ambacho kili trigger na alikuwa na uchungu mwingi jeri hata kwa anaweza kuongea she could not even speak and then the oxygen levels went low well hiyo ya kuwekewa kitu hiyo naweza katana nayo cuz what i know is that kama aligia kwa dege akiwa msiki vol mm -hmm. unajua pia juu ya dege bado kuna hewa hewa yenye una breathe si hii fresh right ndio mm -hmm. maana tunatakaga fit to fly kwa sababu uko juu tena utapata hewa zingine zenye kama wewe nini zako white blood cells zako haziwezi kupigana nazo utakuwa more weak it can contribute because uh, even when you are kwa napumua unasikia kifua iko na shida and kind of the doctor was saying is kind of phenomena or something na ukimwangalia ni mtu si huyu mtu ukimwekea kitu kama ni kumwekea kitu kalas amekufa hana hana hizo za kufight hiyo hizo vitu okay. zinaeka ugonjwa kama mimi uko tu sawa alafu then unawekewa tu hizo utapigana otherwise ungewekea mtu kama huyu huyu atafasti okay okay i see you coming from Oh Jesus Christ. Again guys, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vote TV Prime Time Show. It is the Rauka na Vote TV Breakfast Show. I'm your host Nelson Mike Madam Ryuki. My guest, Jerry, a Kenyan who's working at the airport in Dubai and the one who raised the who brought this case to the to the attention of the public of a lady by the name now identified as Damari Osita. Ningetaka by the way wale ambao wana watch hii kitu uh if you're here make sure you like this broadcast make sure you share and make sure that you subscribe to the channels to the channels if you're new. Mtu ametoka Kenya last year. Mtu amefanya kazi Saudi mtu amekuja kadampiwa Dubai airport 
akiwa katika hii hali and right now she's fighting for her life at a hospital in dubai ebu semeo jina ebu ebu ambia watazamaji jina ya hospital tena njeri yeah, the hospital is called al qasim hospital it is in sharjah mm-hmm. uh, okay uae is called divided into different uh, like counties kuna dubai mm-hmm. sharjah sasa kwenye alipeleko in sharjah inaitwa kasimu ako in high intensive care ile ya kabisa si ile wanaitaga CICU nao ni high ile ya modern ICU high intensive care yeah we hope by god bless she will make it out and she will go back home and be with her family and we really hope that we at least we fight the family uh, if we fight the family it will be much easier for everything to happen and that's why we are here mm-hmm. make sure you to kill them too thank you by, by the way let me let me give a shout out uh, number one to all my to vote be family facebook you guys you are too fast um and uh continue sharing continue sharing family ipatikane namba ya njeri njeri hebu uh, apatie namba yako tena ah uh, unaweza nipigia all on whatsapp kwa plus 9715 plus 9715880057647 ah uh, lena sego apo kiangalia kwa hii artwork okay but actually I'm, i know what i'm going to do i, uh, I sent you another passport right i sent uh, you another passport ah uh, let me see if i have it but hakuna uh, shida let me see. let me check here mm-hmm. lena sego uko wapi guys come on sisi ndio wengi we can find this family Nani ebu nani nani who is the who are the the, the government representatives of Higa County Mimi ni Jerry can you unaweza kutumia unaweza kutumia hiyo picha ya passport tena Yes sure Okay. Need to me and then I'll bring it up. No problem. Okay. Uh nani nani who are the government the government reps of uh, Vega County? That is uh MCA, uh um, governor, MP. Mko wapi? Wako wapi? Hata hao kila mahali watagiwe. Damari Osita. Damari Osita actually okay you know what mm-hmm. I'm faster <laughs> Jerry you got I got it, it. Uh, okay, actually, actually somebody else somebody else <laughs> let's have a look at this I okay no no you okay do you uh oh and the family name is omwai 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 that's a family name ko even the family yake ni omwai date of birth 25th of september 1983 omwai thank you folks Thank you. Kwa doidi, passport is among the Vega wapi? To just is Vega County. <laughs> to just is Vega Kenya.
Okay. Now here, yeah. That's a boarding pass. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me make this one here. Unona hii mkono. Yeah, huko unaona hizi hizi ni vidonda. Kwanza hii picha yani vile niliangalia hivi. When you look at this picture ukiangalia huko. Mhm. Ai 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 ai. Ah. Ah. Njeri picha ile ilikuwa ni wapi ni kwa Hapo ni pale liko acha nikutumie kwa your your Facebook inbox. Hapo ni alikuwa anapewa nini? First aid. Kilikuwa shajaa hospital. Okay. Hapo ni pale sasa alichukuliwa akaenda mm -hmm. kuwekwa kwa oxygen ndio ambulance ikuje. Okay, okay, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Sababu hapo kwa wheelchair. Lakini I can see huko. Yeah, wheelchair. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It was such a... but what to do? What to say? Umatuma, umesema you are sending another one? Yeah, uh, what was happening that but I will send you in your inbox. Eh? Just send it right here on uh, whatever. I I'm not using for phone. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I get, it, I get. It. Okay, no problem, sir. But Jesus, Jesus Christ. Well, I'm going to watch the broadcast. Hello, Nani. I'm going to ask you. Who are the government? representatives of Higa County No okay uh, nimeshidwa kuituma will send you later Yeah it's it's fine Um hebu tuambiwe hebu tuambiwe nani Mkenya Spain agape my Kenyan sister in, in Spain is here welcome 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 uh nani i want um, i want to know who's the who are who are the folks ambao wana wanawakilisha viga county felista wazazi watalia mpaka lini wacha niseme this is too much heartbreaking you know this is too much this is too much, man. Um, I'm still. I want to show you from this. Eh? I don't know whether you can see. Is it possible? No. Hold up, hold up. Give me a second. I can. Hold up. Let me see. Okay. This one. Uh, okay. I'll show you. You see that lady is putting her. Those things, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what was happening there. That is when she was being put. That was a nurse in there trying to fix her the those machine. As they were saying, her oxygen level is deteriorating, and anytime which we can lose her if we don't. Until when? Until when? This is too much. To see. This is too much. But if uh, if uh, we can be able to get from, I will really appreciate because we will have we will be able to fix a lot of things in the evening if we can only get family members. Yeah, family members. Mm -hmm. Tafadali, those who are here. Now again, I repeat: if you are watching this broadcast, make sure you like you like you like this broadcast. It doesn't matter how you're you're watching it. Come on, watch up on YouTube. If you're if you're watching it on Facebook, if you're watching it on Twitter, just like it and share. Tuone kama ifamilia itapatikana. 
That's all we want for now. True. That's all we want for now. That's all we want for now. Na njeria bua explain ya tena. Ame ako ame pelekwa. This is a high intensive care unit. Is this yeah. not the regular ICU? Yeah, and uh, for this case, because you know she is not a UAE resident, neither does she has any document for UAE. But according to UAE, your health comes first. Whether you have document or you don't have document, your health comes first and others follow. So because she is illegal, now she is inside UAE, but illegally, she has airport security because it, she was released. Without airport security, she cannot be released outside. So she is at our airport security. Ukieda uko utapata na kuna police. Lazima kukuwe na police until ya temata atai atatoka uko. Kwa sababu hayuko uko hidali. So maybe some people can go. Some will be allowed to go in. Others will not. But for family members, they will not hinder you from going. If you're a family member, you will, you will get all the information and you will be able to go through, to go inside. Not only family member, if you really know this girl from the roots. I see. Um, Jerry, Jerry, kuna kitu umesema, and that really stood, stuck, stuck out with me. You're working at the airport, umesema ya kuamba, um, umeweza kuona wasichana wengine wakikuja huko kwa airport ya Dubai, waki, wametua kwa Saudi, ambao, wako na kasoro, they are depressed, in other words, like we say, for 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 for, uh, for uh, lack of better words, hawana uh, mm. hakili timamu. Kuna kitu ambacho kime. Ebu tuweleze, can you please use your own words to explain to the viewers how often do you see that and what happens in such instances if you come across that kind, such kind of cases? We see that daily. And uh, if I was to be asked, I would say, are, are going to Saudi, you should only go when we were doing and kujisimamia kila kitu na we unajua pali. Kama venye watu unapuja gani. Fuali stiviza mtu wakijua mimi ni mejipeleka, sijapelekwa na agent. I maboya agent, no matter how they try to protect themselves, saying they can handle, they cannot handle those cases. We have them daily. Every time, every day, we must have someone coming with a particular issue. It has never gotten to this. But every time we find depressed people who comes, like Zinatokezea to Kifika Airport, and the, how we handle them, we just try, we go speak in our own language to them. We try maybe to make them cool down and uh, get back to their next flight going to Nairobi. But it always happened from Saudi. It always happened from Saudi. If you are going to Saudi... Wait a minute, say, wait a minute. Jerry, wait a minute. Did you say every day? Every day we have such cases. Every day. and they are coming from Saudi. Very blind people, very innocent people. They go there and their life gets. I can't uh, count to the times I've gone to make people get cooled down upstairs. When like they come now, I don't know when they get the, another exposure to another country. Now those things they raise up. Lily, it is very painful to see people. I would say, watch a two nini baniwe, watch a two agents who are baniwe kupeleka. Money doesn't come before life. Life comes first because if you are sending people there for them to lose life, what is the importance of let people, if they have to go, watch a watu wa some, wa ede shule, wa malize, wa kujina pesa za wajipeleke uko. Ama kama ni kuenda, si lazimu wende. Wede Saudi ukafanya kazi ya maid. Saudi kuna hotels. Saudi kuna airports. Saudi kuna everything apart from houses. Buna unapelekwa house na mbwa hutalipa kitu, hutalipa passport, hutalipa ticket, hutalipa visa, but hutalipa na maisha yako. Why? 
it's better ujitolea tu ulipe hizo pesa ulipe hizo vitu zote lakini maisha yako ibaki tu intact because really, really if i was to say i would say let agent be burnt that agent be burnt if people have to go let saudi introduce tourist visa let people go on their own and if they willing to stay they stay if they are willing to come back to come back because when you are like you take yourself somewhere unaenda gana kale chukijua i've brought myself here i know what i want and i know my rights but these people they go with the agent first of all hawanaga rights zao ni venye utaabiwa uende uobe ukikataa kuobe watakuwa so we mtu before toke Kenya na kuaga na uoga such that anaenda tu how what we can learn how how will coward you all now wana kutoment and remember you will still a human as much as you are about there according to them you are a human so what will happen if you don't die in the hearts all ukuje ukwe kichwa gumu wa kuwe utagoje ka depression depression na kujia na nini inakujia kwa sababu umevumilia hizo vitu zote wanakufanyia and they are affecting you inwards the moment you get time to to get to get out then your mind is no longer working well so i would say acha mtu kama anaenda saudi ama anaenda anywhere else wacha huyo mtu ajipeleke atafute pesa ajipeleke ajisimamie aende na amebeba carriage yake anajua what am i going to do not with agent because agent akikupeleka even lights you don't have them you know i'm stuck i'm stuck i'm stuck at um every day every day that's why i'm stuck every day do you have and by the way guys and listen those who are watching here this this is jerry she works at the airport in dubai she's explaining this from her from her perspective what she sees every day agents mko wapi kujeni hapa sasa hii do this kujeni hapa sasa hii agents mko wapi and you know Mumesia the funny is... about me yeah go ahead you know the funniest thing is every uh, we have a flight flight both emirates and uh, and uh, and the arabia goes to kenya daily they have flight daily right and this flight they comes full all the days most of the people who come for they are transit transit meaning they are coming from nairobi they come to sharjah from dubai for some time and then they go to saudi every day you find half of the folk are those going to saudi breaking news tumepata familia tumepata the family wow great to god hold on give me a second give me a second okay fine Oje na kunakuanga na cases mingi. Mm-hmm. Give me a second. Nice. Ah, uh, give me a second guys. Paul and Jerry, Oje ni I I forget, I forget like sometimes I have like thousands of cases so just give me a second. It's fine to care. No wait Jane Chega wait 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 Oh Peter Twaidi wana sema nimepera namba za watu wao let me see what's happening Jerry are you seeing the, let me let me pin these comments Nimepera namba za watu wao 
eh, atutumie. Nimepena namba za watu wa kwa watu wao kwa mtu wa men inbox ako Dubai Purity Ebu inbox namba ya the family pia kwa sababu tuko hapa we are here with I'm here with Jerry and uh, she's the one who's uh, who brought this story to the light and there yeye ndio anafuatilia things on the ground uh, so purity wa elimu tafadhali uh, do this you can send the number to uh, the whatsapp number ya voi kwa hapo okay these are different Oh yeah. Is a different story. I have the number. I have the brother's number. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it's correct. Sorry. I want I wanted to make sure it's the right one. Yes. Um brother's number? You got yeah, it? Yes, so I have the brother's number. I got oh. it. Okay, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, mm -hmm. Guys, can we work together? Can we do some teamwork? Tufanye your teamwork. Jerry nilikwambia nini? By the time we tumaliza hii broadcast we'll get the family. You see how God works? Yeah, for sure glory to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nimepata I've been given I have I hereby approve I can hereby confirm that I've received the phone number of Bradake Damari Osita. Uh and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. Give me a second. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you God. Can we uh can we give um Can we give can we can we scream to God for this breakthrough Kwanza? Okay so Let's make the phone call. Okay, fine. But I can see him. I see his face. Uh. Okay. No, 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 face. Yeah, okay. You're calling on WhatsApp? Yeah. Maybe he is not online. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, the best thing is to call him direct. Let's see. At least there's a door that God has opened for us. True. God is faithful and will live and heal her. Welcome to Red Child. Please enter the international So let me do it differently. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Red Child. Please enter the international number you would like to call, followed by the hash key. To listen to the main menu, press star. That's what I'm using.
So let's do this. Now, okay, let me welcome Riziki Wasike. The information has that she's from Viga, Viga, Viga County, a place called Emusire. Mm -hmm. Now, so everything is coming together now. Let me, um, uh, uh, Riziki Wasike, tumeza kupata namba ya bradake. Uh, able to Julie Shetta Fatale Kama Meza Kumpigia Simu Riziki Wasike and Riziki Wasike. Can you also do me a favor to Fatale Ebu Kuja uh, Utuambie? Um, Uneza join, Uneza join show ya leo. You can give us some more information. So, Nje, uh, Njeri. Everything yes. is coming together now. Yeah. So, At A. Kwa group wa metuma namba ya bladhake pia. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm sure also on Facebook and everywhere else on my, on my whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. They've shared that number. So we found the family. Okay. Okay. Uh, can we plan on a strategy to put what's the game plan now moving forward? So the, there's just, the next thing that we need. To, yeah, go ahead. Okay, we just uh, now we can talk to the brother and all like uh, I'll come to talk or something or anything. yes, yes, yes. All those things we have to all those things have to come to have have to come to light. Um. And from there, we can know what for it. So, breaking news right here on Vote TV Primetime Show. We've been able to locate the brother. And now it's crystal clear. Yakwamba. Damari. Ametoka place in Aitwa. Emusire in Vihiga County. Thank you very much. Purity wa irimu tafadhali fanya hivi. Ebuni text kwa WhatsApp. The number is on the screen. Uh, uh, text vote TV on, the, on WhatsApp right now. Purity, you are watching. Text me right there on vote TV WhatsApp. Plus one five seven one three six one three one zero four. So breaking news right here to my pata to my to my pata familia. Uh, I can see the brother. This is the brother here. Uh, let me actually. That's the brother. Oh, actually, I don't do the I don't do the Kenyaji. Let me let me show you guys the brother. Hold up, give me a second. <laughs> I'll do this the professional way. This is Vote TV. Let me come back to Riziki Wasike. Um, come up any other uh, any other additional information about your Konayo. Uh, type qua comments and uh, Jerry Anagogia. Okay, purity number ni plus one five seven one three six one three one zero four. So no no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. Maybe the brother my could be could be said or in short, it's okay, okay, we can so try to call it. Sorry. You can hear me? I don't know what is happening with my phone. I heard uh, something else. Okay, let me what I'm gonna what I wanna do is I wanna I wanna I wanna improvise. Okay. Let me do this. I wanna improvise. Uh the fastest way for us to do this, I will be like 
Let me come here, come here, boom. And then, I'll come here. And now, Vote TV. Here is the brother. So that's the brother. Jerry Unamona. No. I I don't know what is wrong with my phone. With my phone. It hangs. We can hear you and no, ah, we yeah. can hear you and we can see you clearly. Okay, can you see the brother? That's the brother. Okay. Yeah. So I'm sure I'm sure there are people who are to remember when I'm picking a sim right now. Ah, that's why. So, but the information is out. The brother to our sister. Damari. So we have successfully, been, we have success, we have been able to successfully locate the family. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, like... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, now having the family, at least now once we get the update, once I get more update, I'll just, uh, we will just con connect with the brother and know the way forward, right? Yes, that's how we're going to do it. Um, and I think that's actually uh, a perfect way to also uh, bring uh, this morning broadcast to an end. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much, uh, everyone, uh, for your participation. Thank you, everyone, um, those, who've, those who have shared this sad, I mean, those who have shared this sad story and we can say God is great, a breakthrough, one breakthrough for the, you know, that the now we, have, we know the family. So now, Jerry, we have a lot of work to do on the back end. We have the police who, you know, the, the police who are following up the case. She's at the hospital waiting for uh, the updates from both the police and the, and, and the hospital. And of course, getting to know who she was before she left the country. Sure. What a sad story. This is too much. This is too much. That's true. So this is too yeah, much. Yeah, Mimi Nasema Santi Sana, thank you so much for your contribution toward getting this success. And it has thank not you. been it has been a tough journey, but God has been so faithful. So we are very grateful, and I'm very... Actually, si Jalala tagu, si kutagu jano, si Jalala. Ni maigia tu and I think I'll just sleep two hours, and then I will wake up and start uh, checking out on this thing, on how we can go about it, if what is needed, and we will let them know what else will be done after. Hopefully, our ladies will get well, and we'll go home safely and we'll go home alive. That's our prayer because we believe in power of prayer. The one thing that will stick with me moving forward is the way you, you, you answered that question. How often do you see this kind of mentally distressed people at the airport coming from Saudi Arabia? And you say it daily. That's a hard pill to swallow. That's a hard one. Sure. Thank you, girl. You, you know, when I, when, every time I have... Yeah, go ahead. I believe if Saudi cannot fight for themselves, there is something we can do to fight for them because I'm not uh, willing to start and say, bearing in mind I was about to lose life in my hand like this. You know that pillow sleeping, where she is sleeping on the pillow, right? I'm the one who yeah. was holding her head. 
And then I remember that now saying, be careful, she might lose her life in your heart, like the way you are studying. The pillow, she is not here, where she is sleeping on the pillow like this. And that, uh, I was about to lose a life in my heart from, from Saudi. It really hit me hard. If they can't fight for themselves, I believe we can fight for them. And uh, I believe we have power enough to cleanse that uh, that uh, embassy in Saudi. We have power. We have power. We can do it. If they cannot, they are not willing to do it. We can do it. Actually, I'm going to do this like I always do. Um, let me give me two seconds. Oh, Jerry, Abu, um, talk to your sisters in Saudi Arabia right now. What would you tell them so right for, now? for me, what I can tell them is that, girls, you have power in you. And no one, no one has power to intimidate you. Always when you get, um, for those already there, when you get your salary, keep your ticket, keep your money ticket with you. In case of anything, don't wait until they torment you enough that you get out of the house. No. And another thing I will tell you, you are not poor. Don't think because you're going there, you are so poor. No, no one is, no one was born poor. You can make it wherever you are and you can start by your legs. You don't need this agent to take you for you to be beaten inside the house. You are human. That person doesn't power. I will tell you one thing. Those people, they don't have even. I wonder masomo. You start to get a kigeleza because niko kwao. I wonder how to masomo. Uko na masomo. Uko na masomo. The only thing you can do, get courage in you. Get courage in you and know who you are and what you have. Na hakuna mtu atakuchezea. Kama ni kazi hakuna mtu anafaa kukuforce. Umekuja kwa nyumba yangu eh. Nataka kufanya kazi. Yes. Umefeel umechoka. Colors. Go home. Take your ticket. Pay your ticket. Go home. Don't wait utugoje. Ile time umechoka, umekojeka. You cannot do, you cannot talk. Dio ma, dio time tunakuja. Mm -mm. Go to that embassy. Lakini enda ukiwa na pesa zako in such a way that if embassy is not willing to help you can help yourself and go. We would like to see a broke, a broke person coming back home alive than to see a rich person sending money with the Geneza. That's one thing we don't want to see. It's better you come back broke without anything but alive. Wow. I have nothing to add. Um, uh, it's time for also for me to take a rest. It's been a long day. God bless you. And stay tuned for the next Vote TV primetime show coming up in the next few minutes. Jerry, good night. Good night. Mashallah. <laughs> to the viewers. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very you. much. Hello. Have a nice one.